Good day everyone. I just wanted to do a quick little video on some code changes that have happened in Canada and the US when it comes to running switches as in a switch leg. Uh, I'm not going to go through how I wired it. You can check out the video for that. This is more to explain maybe a bit why uh, the code has actually changed. Um, it's not really recent but it's fairly recent a couple of books ago so Either way, it's still something a lot of people aren't sure about or, 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 or don't know about it if they're not actual electricians. Um, so when you're running a switch leg, you can use 14.2 and just run down your hot, switch it, and bring your hot back up, your switch leg. But now what, what is code is you must bring a neutral down with you. So when you're wiring a device up, you have to have a hot and a, and a neutral. So now, right here, without that, if you have a two wire, you're just switching the hot. There's no neutral there. So if you want to put a device or continue on from here, the main reason for it is to put a device, you can't do that. You can only put a switch. So now by code being where you're forced to run that extra wire and have that neutral, now, for a lot of smart switches, uh, devices, there's so many, I don't know even go through them, but there's so many that now need power and also to future-proof yourself. So even if today you're not worried about it, what about 10 years from now? Are you going to rip open the walls and change that four conductor two into a, a, a three conductor, a four, sorry, a th a, you change your two conductor 14 into a three conductor 14, you're not gonna do it. You're just gonna not be able to use whatever device people are now using at the time. So that's more what it is, is to future proof. It's not that uh, a 14-2 wire is unsafe, it's just this is for future proofing. So when you are doing it though, it's gonna be left over, just make sure you cap it really well, tuck it in the back. But that is why you now need a three wire. Me personally, and this is not advice, but there's nothing wrong with a two wire safety wise, even though it's not code anymore. If you're running it surface, like where I've put a couple of switches in the garage here where they're surface, I still did a two wire. Just cause if I ever want to change it, I have access to it. I can just change it out, right? Uh, if you're doing anything in the wall, definitely go to the extra wire, have a neutral in that box. Because the, the, to try change it in the future would be a nightmare. So definitely don't mess around then. It was, good, it was good practice before, now it's code. So there you go. That's why you now have to run a neutral in your switch boxes when you're running a switch light. Hope that helped.